In the last video, you saw us update the existing app and add the ability to obtain an access token using the existing ID token uh, that we got from Azure AD. Um, and we're gonna use this access token to call Microsoft Graph. So in this step, we're gonna update the Azure AD app and Microsoft Teams app project to display a list of the recent emails that are received by the currently logged in user with Microsoft Graph. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Azure AD and I need to add a new permission to this. So the permission I'm gonna add is a Microsoft Graph permission. It's a delegated permission for mail.read. And I'll go ahead and add that permission. And then I'm also going to grant admin consent to it as well. All right, now once that's done, I'm gonna come back over to our environment variable settings, and I'm going to add the additional permission request to the list of scopes that we need. So it's gonna be mail.read. So now let's go back to our tab. And the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna go add in a new control from the Fluent um, uh, UI package for a list control. And then once I've done that, I then wanna add in another state uh, holder for another state property called recent email or just recent mail. I'm gonna say set recent mail. And that's gonna be equal to use state. And this is gonna be an array of anything because as you'll see, the property we're going to use, the objects we're going to store in this are going to be, are going to conform to the, what the list control needs to easily render these out. So with the state um, of the component has now has been updated. What I'm now going to do is scroll down here. I'm going to add in a new uh, callback hook. So what this callback hook does, it's called get recent emails. And what it's going to do is it's going to do a check for the Microsoft Graph doc, going to issue a request to the Graph endpoint for all the messages. And this is just going to grab the top 10 emails and just grab a few uh, properties, the receive date and the subject, and then sort by the receive date uh, as well. And then it's going to create a request object, submit that request to the Microsoft Graph REST API. When it gets the results in this payload, it's gonna use the map function on the value property that it gets back to create an array of objects that have three properties, key, header, and header media. And what this is, these are gonna to conform to uh, what a, uh, a Fluent UI list control um, has. Now, I wanna get this list of recent emails once we have an access token that can be used to authenticate with Microsoft Graph. So because we've already added that to our code, we just need to add a new effect to call this method. So I'm gonna add that effect here towards the bottom. And what that's gonna do is to say, whenever the, the, the access token that we get uh, for Microsoft Graph, whenever that uh, property, that state property changes, I want this effect to run, which is gonna call get recent emails, which is gonna go fetch all of those different emails. So the last step is to update the rendering of the component. So I'm gonna come down here and then right after the div for saying the user's name, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a check to say, if we have recent uh, mail, then I'm gonna add in a div that contains an H3. And that H3 is gonna be your recent emails. And then I'm gonna add in a list control, our list control and the items that I'm gonna to bind to it is my recent mail state property. So I'm gonna come back over here to our app and I'm gonna go ahead and spin our app up if it's not already running. All right, next, let's go back to the browser. Let's go back to our, our uh, team and let's go off of our tab and then we'll come back to our SSO tab to trigger the process to work and we can see everything is working. So we can still see we're getting an ID token. That ID token is being parsed to show the user's name. We're then using that ID token to exchange it for an uh, access token. And then I'm taking that access token uh, to call Microsoft Graph to get a collection of all the user's emails. And then I'm just writing all those emails out. So greatly simplifying um, the process of fetching requests or fetching data from Microsoft Graph. 